My uh, role in exposing CIA people back in the 1970s was political. It was for political reasons based on what the people are doing in the CIA around the world in terms of promotion of political repression, torture, forced disappearances, and so forth. This latest case of the, I think, the first serious case uh, with a criminal investigation of having exposed the identity of a, an undercover intelligence officer is simply based on dirty politics. It has political overtones, of course, but in actual fact, it's, it's simply a low blow, a dirty blow, retaliation for what Ambassador Wilson did in poking a hole in that pack of lies that Bush concocted for justifying the invasion of Iraq. It happens that I wrote my first book, which had all the names, in the 1970s. And uh, this was the same time that there were uh, horrible, bloody military dictatorships in Uruguay, Argentina, Chile, Brazil. All of those were put in with help from the CIA. And they overthrew elected civilian democratic governments. I wanted to fight against this and against the human rights violations that were being carried out uh, in these countries. And I only mentioned those because you could mention Vietnam, you could mention the Philippines, you could mention the whole world for that matter in terms of the political repression that the CIA has caused through the years. He said that the United States government had absolutely nothing to do with this. I mean, this was said on the floor of the House of Commons by the Home Secretary at the time that the British... It's all based on a pack of lies. And the same... Uh, Bush family, not only this, this, this president, but his mother and his father are of the same cut. They lie in public all the time. And I know that from personal experience.